Welcome back everyone, I'm Folygon, and in this episode we're gonna paint some eyes. If you wanna follow along, you can download the bonus content for this video by clicking the link, of course, in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you can throw me a dollar, that would be great, but if you can't, please share this content with someone else, it really helps. All right, let's get started. Now very quickly here, you're just gonna see me append an eye or a sphere to my 3D model. When doing that, just make sure you click the append button in your subtool menu. Choose the primitive sphere and rotate that sphere so that the pole faces directly forward. That's going to help you in painting your eye significantly. Now as you can see on the left side of the screen, I selected the toy plastic material. I'm going to use that for the eyes. The way you apply that in a pure white color is go ahead and select any brush and at the top of the screen, go ahead and select MRGB. Make sure that Z add is turned off so that when we paint later, you can use this brush as a paintbrush and not sculpt. And then go ahead and click fill object on the left side of the screen. Now, after our eyes are in place, we can begin by blocking out our iris. The most basic guideline to keep in mind for this stage is to have the upper lid partially covering the iris and the lower lid to be just barely touching it. Now, of course, this is dependent on many factors, but it's a good rule for starting out. Using our mask brush by holding the control key, we can click and drag our marquee selection and block out our iris shape. Again, we're gonna use our fill object button to fill in the color of the iris. Just go ahead and set your color to black and click fill object. Now we're probably not gonna be changing our material, so just go ahead and turn off MRGB and instead select RGB at the top of the screen. Now we have our poles facing forward and that makes finding the center of the eye very easy for us. Now I feel like painting some blue eyes today, but of course you can do brown, green, red, purple, whatever you want. Either way, the important thing to keep in mind here is to set your RGB value to something low, maybe around 5 to 15. I have mine around 10 right now. This is going to help out a lot when painting your eyes. It's going to make it so that your brush is not too strong. Now using my low strength paintbrush here that I have, I can go ahead and begin filling in that color on the center of the eye. After that, I'm going to begin filling in the center of the eye with a slightly lighter and more desaturated color. This is gonna be one of many things that we do to aid in adding depth to our eye. Now at first here, I paint the pupil by hand, but if you're struggling with doing that, you can go ahead and go back to our tactic that we used for the iris, turn to the side, and use a mask again to get that perfect circular shape. After doing that, control click on your mask a couple times to blur it, control click on your canvas to flip it, and fill in your black color. Next up, I'm gonna add some black to the top portion of the iris, trying to get a gradient in there from darks to light from top to bottom. This is another one of those things that is going to aid in adding a 3D look to your eye. Same as before, if you're struggling, here's another way you can do it where you can just mask it from the side and stroke over it with your black color. Now we're gonna do a similar thing to the bottom of our eye here, but instead we're gonna use a lighter color. So essentially the idea here is to just punch that a little bit more, get that gradient showing up just a tiny bit more. Now I use the mask here and I turn my mesh to the side and it makes it a little bit easier for me to get in there and make the stroke that I need to. The final thing here that we're gonna do to punch up the depth of the eye is to paint in a shadow. Now I'm just using a black color with a low RGB value, but if you find this difficult to manage, you can use a mask lasso tool. Holding the control key, click the brush in the top left hand corner of the screen, select the mask lasso, and draw out your shape over your eye. Give yourself a little bit of room for the shadow to kind of show where you can see in the eye. Step down your mesh to a lower subdivision level like I'm doing, and control click on your mask to blur it. After that, keeping your RGB value low, you can begin to fill in the darkened color of the shadow of your eye. I play around with it a little bit here before I find a result that I like and then apply it. If you're getting this strange fractaling that you see on my eye here, that's simply a problem with materials. Just turn on your M only brush, select your toy plastic material again and click fill object. All right, well that concludes our eye painting tutorial. Hope you guys learned something new, maybe got a little inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, the the video's over. You you gotta do the thing.